Did you know that you can invest in Australian real estate as a foreigner? There are three reasons why you should be looking at Australian property market right now. Number one, securing your child's future. Investing in a property in Australia will make sure your family's future is secure. Number two, attractive returns on your investment. Investing in Australian property will pretty much guarantee that you will achieve 15 to 20% return on your investment. Number three, it is an Australian dollar investment. As an investor, putting your money in a stable economy such as Australia, it is always a wise thing to do. Let me walk you through step by step on how you can invest in Australian properties as a foreigner. Step number one, choosing a property based on your requirement. You might be a parent who want to send your son or daughter to Australia for higher studies. In that case, we can choose an apartment close to that particular university. Or you might be an investor who wants to invest your money in a stable economy and get the best return for your investment. Based on your requirement, we will find the property for you. Step number two, secure the property using a $2,000 deposit. This is a reservation deposit, which is fully refundable. This will make sure the property is taken off the market for you to take the next steps. Step number three, this is where you sign a contract of sale in Australia along with a 5 to 10% deposit to seal the property. These contracts are vetted by Australian lawyers and there will be an Australian lawyer which will be allocated for you who will go through the contracts and make sure everything is in order before you sign it. Once you sign it, you pay the 5 to 10% deposit to a lawyer's trust account. It's very important to note that your money which you put in towards the property, every single dollar goes into a lawyer's trust account. As a developer, Australian developers cannot touch people's money when it comes to development. That's by Australian law. In that case, your money is always safe when you put towards a deposit for a property. Step number four is obtaining the approval from the Australian government. This is called Foreign Investment Review Board Approval or FIRB. As a foreigner, when you purchase a property in Australia, you need to obtain this particular approval, which will be taken care of by the allocated lawyer for you. Step number five, property settlement. This is where you pay the property in full, either through cash or using a loan. This way, the property will be transferred under your name freehold. Step number six, rental and the management. This is where we take over the rental and manage the property for you on an ongoing basis so that you can make sure your rent of the property will be hitting your account in Australia every single month. Let's have a look at a sample property. This beautiful property is located about 35 to 40 minutes away from the Melbourne CBD. This house has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two garages. Land size of this house is 350 square meters or 14 perches. House size is 2,200 square feet in size. Except for the furniture which you see, everything else will be included as part of your house price. This property will cost you $720,000. When you buy as a foreigner, you can borrow up to 60% of the property value, which is $432,000. Your contribution is $385,000 which is 40% of the total value plus the legal cost and the stamp duty. You can rent this out for $2,300 a month. You can expect an appreciation of 7 to 8% per annum from one of these properties.
We are here to help you. We have a team in Australia, we have a team in Sri Lanka, and we have a team in place in Dubai. We have a team of consultants who are ready to help you and walk you through the end-to-end -end investment process. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can watch similar educational videos and property walkthroughs.